Hey everyone, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and we're going to be taking a look at the Outside Inside 5-in-1 board game magnetic game set. So this is a great easy way to have an, something to keep everybody occupied, whether you're in the camper or RV or off on the side of a mountain somewhere, but you just want to have a little bit of fun and take your mind off of other things. So it's going to be nice and compact. Everything fits into this included carrying bag, so you can just throw this into your pack and bring it along with you. So let's take a look at this. We'll have our two magnetic boards, and they're going to allow us to play a variety of different games, and it also comes with all the appropriate game pieces to play. So if we take... Uh, little closer look at these guys you can see that we'll have the classic board for both chess and checkers with that uh, black and white chess board there and then if we flip it over we'll also have a backgammon board so we can also play that game if we look at our other mat this is going to allow us to play Ludo. Uh, some people might know that as a different game. Um, there are a couple branded name games here in America. One of those being Parcheesi, one of those being Sorry. Those are trademark names. But they all are basically the same game, and it just is trying to get from one objective to uh, the center there. They're all kind of based on an ancient, India game, um, ancient Indian game named Parcheesa. So can allow you to have all kinds of fun. It is a simplified game, definitely something you can play with the family and have lots of good times with. If we flip that over, we have classic game as well, shoots and ladders, or snakes and ladders. And if we open up our pack, you can see all the fun little pieces that we can lose along our way. So the nice thing about these is that the mats, both of them, are slightly magnetic. So our pieces are going to stick on there. The only ones that I found that had a little bit of trouble were the taller chess pieces. They do stick, but then if you go completely vertical, they will kind of fall off. But helps to keep them from getting blown over. Uh, if somebody happens to bump the table, they should stay in place fairly well. It's just your uh, king and queen. It might fall over, but shouldn't be too hard to get them. Let's see how one of our knights or pawns will do. So again, they do stay, but they're not, it's not a super, super tight magnetic bond, which is kind of a good thing. You don't want to have to struggle every time to pick it up and move it along. You can be going like that with your knight there. And then it's going to be the same thing for our other pieces as well. So got our backgammon board. We'll have two little containers for our black and white round pieces. So this can either be used for your backgammon or um, checkers. Open that guy up. You can see how they're kind of repelling each other. Some of them are turned opposite ways. So I'll just throw a few on here, demonstrate again they're going to stick in place. The little circle guys do a pretty good job of staying on there. Well, except for that one. There we go. So makes it easy, especially if you've got pets around or kids around. People get rambunctious, and that way you won't ruin your game once it starts getting competitive, as we all know family games can get. Same thing for our little cone guys if we're playing that uh, Ludo game. Also have a couple different set of die. So we'll have three brown small die, uh, three brown, uh, three white, and then one uh, big one for snakes and ladders. It does come with a pack of instructions. So if you've kind of forgotten the details of how to play any of those games, you're not quite sure how to teach your friends or family how to play each one, it does have a refresher there so you can be like, oh yeah, and then have a, also something to refer back to if somebody happens to challenge a move. So always important to have those rules for keeping order. And then as you can see, I'm just packing everything up and kind of tuck everything in the middle there, roll it into a fat burrito, and it all packs inside here you might have to kind of coax those mats a little bit there we go et voila so nice family fun 
all in one pack. This weighs uh, not too much. I'd say definitely maybe a pound, pound and a half, hard to say, but pretty lightweight and definitely has all kinds of stuff to keep everybody occupied. Well, I hope this has been helpful in deciding if this is going to be the right game for you. We do have a lot of other activities and games and all kinds of stuff here at eTrailer.com, so check them out. Thanks for watching.